Behind me are the Smart Shades from Smart Wings. They're thread enabled, work with Apple HomeKit natively, you don't need a hub, and you don't even need to use a third party app. They just work right out of the box, you mount them to your windows, pair them with HomeKit, and you're good to go. Not only that, but you'll find these are some of the most affordable smart shades and blinds that you can find in many different options. And the ones behind me are actually 70% sunlight blocking. You can get them all the way up to blackout shades. This way you can choose how much light comes through your windows even when they're closed. First, let's talk about installation. They're actually extremely easy to install. I also have some Eve Motion Blinds, which I installed myself in the studio, and I'll compare those in a moment. But mounting these, they come with three brackets that are actually spring-loaded, very easy to install, and also to actually mount the blinds to those brackets when you're ready. Two screws in each, they give you the screws, they give you the anchors if you're going into drywall or wood, and the shades are actually surprisingly light, even if you get them for a large window. The window behind me is actually 89 inches wide and 70 inches tall, so there's a lot of shade that has to roll up into that motor, but again, it is surprisingly light for that size and had no trouble installing it. Smart Wings actually sent me two, one for this window and another for a kitchen window on the other side of the living room, and they both connect seamlessly with HomeKit. Now let's also talk about design. There are multiple color options and blackout percentages that you can choose from. Plus you can choose whether or not you want that remote, the valance on top. You can choose to fabric wrap the bottom part of the shade, which I chose to do. And I think they really look great. It's a very nice material, feels high quality, and they have colors that should match any of your style. Plus they have different types like wooden slats and zebra shades. So we'll put a link to Smart Wings down in the video description if you want to check them out. I also like how well the valance matches the molding around the windows I have here. Pairing the shades with HomeKit is super easy. There's a HomeKit sticker at the bottom of the shades, and there's another sticker at the top by the valance. So once you take this one off, you still have that one to refer to. Also, pro tip, if you tap and hold on a HomeKit code that you've taken a picture of here in the Photos app, you can just tap and hold, open it at home, and then pair the device. Also, I recommend getting the HomePass app. If you have a bunch of HomeKit devices, you can add an existing accessory and then save the QR codes right here in the app. For instance, I can scroll down, go to my kitchen blinds. This already has most of the device information because it's pulling from my Home app. Then all I need to do is scan the setup code and I can have it saved here in HomePass. Again, there's no third-party app or hub required. And so here you'll see both blinds and I can just tap on it and it already starts rolling down. Tap the other one and you'll see they're both lowering right now. And again, these are connecting via thread, so it should be very fast communication and control. I'm gonna tap the dining room one and we'll see how fast it starts to open. So just a few seconds, pretty fast. If you ever wanna see what your thread network looks like in your smart home, the Eve app has a great tool for this. You don't even need to have any Eve devices, you just give it access to your home data. Then you'll see there's a thread network option. Here you can see all the thread devices in your home and here in my living room, you'll see I have the kitchen and dining room blinds, those are the two we're controlling right now. You'll also see that they're an endpoint, so they're connecting to a border router. You'll see some border routers here for the thread network. These are actually EVE Energies, and you'll see I have a bunch of thread devices outside, like the EVE Motion Flare, the EVE Aqua, which is my pool hose, and the EVE Weather. I have a whole video about my outdoor home kit devices. You can check it out above or the link in the video description. So not only can you control the shades with a scene or individually, but here at the top, you also have summaries for like motion, light, and climate. And you'll see the two shades are listed here as well. I can actually tap that and it will close both of them at once. You can also go into an individual shade and control the level of openness. So you can do halfway, 20%, 30%, whatever you'd like, and then it will move to that level. And because it's HomeKit, another great way of controlling these shades is through Siri, either through your HomePod, Apple Watch, or iPhone. And you can say open all the way, close all the way, or open halfway for 20%. It is important to remember what you've named your devices because these are both in the room that I call the living room. I actually named them each dining room blinds and kitchen blinds. So you have to say that specifically when you want to control the device. And you do get a nice little notification at the top saying the living room shades are now open. Now I will say controlling the blinds via Siri, either on my phone, watch, or HomePod is a lot slower than just tapping the device in the Home app. Again, that's waiting for Siri, not waiting for the blinds. The blinds are connected via thread, the fastest connectivity you can have. When I press it in the app, it's pretty fast to respond. I'll show you that one more time. Here I am in the Home app. I'm gonna tap these dining room blinds. One second, maybe less. Really fast response when you tap the device here in the Home app. Now, I know a lot of people ask about sound, how loud are these shades versus maybe the Eve motion blinds. So I'm gonna let you listen to this and I'll tell you the DB rating on my Apple Watch when it's opening. It says 55 DB. This says like 53 dB, so it's about the same. Now a couple other ways you can control the shades. Smart Wings also has this remote that you can add onto your order. 
It's actually a really nice high quality remote, two AAA batteries up and down. You can also stop the shade as it's moving using the minus button here in the middle. And you can switch between multiple shades using these arrows. So I can control this one on one and then I can go to two and control my other shades. Press the minus button and I can stop the shade wherever it is. And if I want, I can press the up button and it goes all the way up. It also has this little mount where you can screw to a wall somewhere and then the remote can slide in and out. Again, you can automate your shades by time of day to open or close or set up automations and scenes. I'm gonna use this flick button here to actually trigger one of my scenes. I'm gonna trigger my good evening scene with two clicks and that closes all the shades and turns the lights off here in the main living room. And you'll see the shade is closing, setting that automation. Now I have one click set up here on the flick button for the good morning. I'll click it once and that actually turns on all the lights and opens both shades. Also, subscribe to the channel because I have a great video coming up about all my favorite home automations, including all the HomeKit buttons I have around the house. So like, subscribe, you know. Also, let me talk about how you power these shades. Yes, they are battery powered. So the last several months, I actually checked the percentage right now because I've been using them a lot as I've been filming the last couple of days. Still at 90%, I charged it maybe four or five days ago and I've been going up and down a lot. Again, SmartWing says you should get several months out of a single charge. Now there is an optional solar panel that you can actually connect to the USB-C port on the SmartWing shades, then attach that solar panel to the window and it should keep it charged. I do that with some in my master bedroom and it works great. You can also use the included cable and just plug it into an outlet nearby to charge it. My preferred method when having to charge my smart shades is using a power bank. This is a Mophie 20,000 milliamp hour power bank, has a USB-C port, just need a USB-C cable from here to the shades. Let's talk about cost and ordering. First off, when you go to order your smart shades, you want to measure thrice or whatever it is for four times. Make sure you measure multiple times your window. Also, you're gonna have the option to mount the shades within the window frame or outside the window frame. So make sure you're measuring appropriately. I mounted mine inside the window frame. So as you can see, it is inside and I measured the complete distance from one inside to the other. So make sure you know what you're measuring and what you're ordering inside or outside the frame. Now there are multiple add-ons like what remote do you want with it and if you want the fabric wrap bottom piece. And there is also that charge for the HomeKit Apple Home integration. There's also a choice for Amazon Alexa and Zigbee. So make sure you choose the right one when you're ordering your SmartWing shades. Now again, when it comes to cost, I actually found these to be several hundred dollars less expensive than the Eve Motion Blinds for the same size window. Now again, for the window behind me, which is over 80 inches wide, 70 inches tall, you would pay about $750 for an Eve Motion Blinds, and that's on a sale right now, so it might actually be as expensive as $1,200 for this size. Whereas the Smart Wings, this window shade with HomeKit would cost $488, and there might've been a little sale on that, I couldn't tell on the website at the moment, but even without the sale, it would be 530. So you're saving hundreds of dollars on the smart wing shades. And again, you have multiple options like the wooden ones, the zebra shades, lots of options. And I would suggest getting one of those remotes for the people in your home or people that are visiting that may not have home kit or not be comfortable with smart home. Having that physical control of a remote for your shades is a good idea. Now this is a very large window. So if you have a more normal size window, like the one I have in my studio, a Smart Shades blinds for that kind of size is $330. So again, it is several hundred dollars, but I have to say, a Smart Shade is just one of the coolest smart home devices you can have. People love seeing it going up and down, scheduling it with the sun, super cool, and the ability to run it with scenes, time it, and control it with Siri, raising it up halfway. I just really love it. So if you're looking for some Smart Shades, but looking for the most economical option, I highly recommend the Smart Wings. Again, I love the look. You can control it super fast via thread, no hub or third-party app required. Integrates directly with Apple Home. And like I said, they have lots of options. I'll put a link to the Smart Wings website in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, I have a video on my favorite home automations coming very soon. You can check out my whole home tour and my favorite HomeKit devices for outside right now.